Is Alan Edwards fully participating now? Is he working in the contact? I think so. No, 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 no. Why do you didn't have a yellow on today? Um, he's getting better. You know, I, I hope we have him uh, at least by next week, maybe, maybe Saturday, but I don't think he'll physically or mentally be ready. Um, but you know, we expect to get him back. So he's he's feeling better. Yeah, how are those guys? Who? Uh, how are those guys at defensive end progressing though? I mean, Juan and, and Dwayne, and James. The They're, guys doing you have They're doing a good job. They're doing a good job. You know, we'll see the tape today, but. I've been happy, obviously, with where Juan's been. I think his motor's kicked in even more. I think we'll have a more improved uh, Juan Price. And Dwayne Hendricks is picking up. Folsom's having a really good spring. He's, he's you know, he's he's months ahead of where he was uh, a year ago. He's, you know, uh, I think he's really going to be able to give us some really, really quality time this year uh, from what I've seen. And, and then really, you know, with Allen not being out there right now, uh, Patrick Jones is getting a lot of reps for a freshman, which is great for him. And he's still swimming a little bit, but... Great experience for him. Well worth coming in mid-year to get the reps he's getting. Like, with the presence of, sorry, good. As you say, with, with the early guys, I mean, since they're here early, do you, you know, take a different look at them when you sort of have the conversation about whether to redshirt or not? Oh, it's way too early to even think about redshirt. We're just trying to get them better. You know, I just know those guys that come, those three guys coming mid-year will be, you know, way ahead of those incoming freshmen coming in. I mean, that's the benefit. You know, they miss prom and, and all the, maybe the negative things and miss, you know, part of their senior year, but uh, they'll be, They'll understand the offense. They'll be, you know, able to teach those other young guys that are coming in, um, you know, really the tempo and what's expected. The presence of those younger guys, Edwards, Hendricks, Wilson, that allow you to move Shakir inside. Yeah, it it did, but you know, besides that, I just think it, you know, gives you know, with, with losing a couple guys last year inside, really three guys, was, uh, you know, it was a guy athletic that we thought would be a better athlete inside. So regardless of what those young guys did, we wanted to put him in position to be. Uh, more successful and, and make more plays inside because he's tough, he's physical, and uh, you know um, he, he could do it. You have high hopes for Hendricks, don't you? I mean, you think he's um, going to be a playmaker? You know, I think he is, but you know, he's still got a lot of work to do. Um, uh, he, he's, he's still got a ways to go. Is she back 100% yet? You know what? He is. You know, I don't know if he, he's 100%. He'll be 100% in August. I can promise that. But uh, Rashid's back and you know getting tackled today. We did some live periods today and. And uh, he, he did some nice things today. In the past, he was sort of, you know, back when he played in 13, 14, he was sort of a third down pass catching guy. I mean, uh, is that still a skill set that you think suits him for a role in this offense? I think I think you want to be a complete back. I think anybody says I'm a third down back. You know, the NFL's not drafting any third down backs. They want a complete back like a Le'Veon Bell who can do it all. And he can catch it out of the back too, but he can run too. So I just think that's what you saw in the past because I think that's really what they did. They had their running backs and they had their passing backs. But we're trying to, you know, get a complete back. We want to have three or four or five complete backs. And, and Rashid showed that last August that he can be a complete back. What are you looking for at the point to, to build on this freshman? Season? You guys ask me that question every every time. Someone does. Um, yeah, we're just looking for him to get better. I mean, everybody, whether you're an all-conference player, or you, you know, or you're you know rookie of the year, or you or you're you know a third-team safety. I mean, we're looking for him to improve. Uh, there's all kinds of little things that he can get better at. We know he's a good football player and. Uh, but he can pre-snap do a lot of things better as far as what he's short of quarterback. And I think that's the big thing. Is his disguise is probably his weakness last year. But, you know, as a freshman, as a puppy, you know, that probably is the last thing to come. So uh, we're just looking for him to continue what he did last year and then improve some of what he's, you know, showing the quarterback. Pat, when people are in the stands in, in the fall, how much different will this offense look compared to what it looked like last year? You know, there'll be a lot of similarities. I mean, you know, we kept a lot of the same. We're still going to be a smash, smash mouth. Uh, pro offense, but then we have some other elements, so we just got you know some different tweaks, which we did last year. We were pro offense, we did a little bit of everything. We'd line up and empty, and um, so it's you know very similar to what you saw last year. How, uh, what, what are you looking for from the scrimmage on Saturday? The number one thing, I want to come out of there healthy. I mean, it scares me. Some of the guys get after me because I'm blowing the whistle quick when it's a live period. I want to make sure you know guys aren't getting tangled up and tied up. Uh, so you're trying to go as live as you can, but also staying healthy. Uh, you want them to think it's full speed, but try to blow that whistle and get them to, to listen to it. But you want to stay healthy and want to see guys make plays, you know, in Heinz Field. And I think, um, you know, that's the key. That's why we're going over there. You know, rain or rain or dry, I mean, we try to stay stay in here when it's wet out there. But we're going out and playing on a game because it's game day. How are the teams going to be doing that? Offense, defense. Ones, ones, and twos, twos. We'll do some ones on ones. We'll do some ones on twos and we'll mix it up. Coach, thank you. Right. Guys, thank you. Right, guys. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay.